Okay, here we are. We're going to do a tone demo of my version of the Earth Sound Graphic Fuzz. I call this thing the G Fuzz. And to do this, we're going to use my two channel 50 watt vacuum tube guitar amp with an effects loop. I forgot to turn my effects on. And We'll be using the clean channel. Blue here represents the clean channel. Red, the distortion channel. Okay, this is this is actually set up how I, of course, ran out of money to before I could build a cabinet. Building, getting somebody to build a nice cabinet for this costs almost as much as all the parts do to build it in the first place. But this is how I wanted to set it up with a slot in the cabinet underneath for an effects unit like this. Okay, let's turn the effects all the way down for the moment. And have a look at our pedal here. This is, I'm running this into a 4x12 cabinet. And here is our graphic fuzz. Okay, now this has been built on a perf board. This is actually ready to put into a cabinet, uh, an enclosure. Just put four little screws in each corner and mount that right in the enclosure. The pots, of course, would be mounted on the enclosure. There's one extra one here because I have it wired directly into the guitar amp. Now this is a very interesting pedal. Uh, due to the unique nature of this circuit, it has to be powered by a battery. It cannot be operated from a power supply. It needs, it needs an independent power source. That is not one that's not connected to either ground or the power rail that run into other devices. It needs its own independent power supply. The, another interesting fact about this pedal is it's always on full. It might be, I could put a modification in this in the future, but it's always on full strength, you know, like drive all the way up. So you control the drive of the pedal with the volume pot on your guitar. Now I've got a Zoom out again. Let me show you. This is my guitar I'm using with this. It's a old guitar from the 70s with two PAF humbuckers in there. Okay. Yeah, let me zoom back out. Well, I'll just leave it like that. Bring the volume on the guitar up a little bit. There's our, our clean tone.
Okay, now, unique features of this pedal are its filter. There's a filter, and I've added a component in here called I call a dampener. And then there's a volume, which does the volume control. The original volume control doesn't really do much. But the you just set it halfway and, and leave it go. The filter is very interesting. Now this is a problem. This is why I created the damper. The filter has this problem. Well, I don't know if it's a problem, but the original circuit will, will start oscillating by itself as the filter is turned higher. Okay, so now I'm going to turn the, the filter up so it starts oscillating and then I'm going to turn the damper down to cancel out the oscillation and allow the device to be used when otherwise the oscillation would be you know coming through so I'll, I'll play a little bit with the oscillation then I'll turn the damper down Like magic, huh? So that's the effect of the dampener. Below about 25, one quarter to one third of the way up, you just don't need the dampener. But to use the pedal in those higher filter settings, the dampener definitely is useful. Shall we add a little reverb, see what it sounds like? Oops, we did it.
<laughs> so what do you think? Is that a mad effect or what?